Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go with the Miss Beer Beer. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today, we are in one of the most exclusive residential estates in Waterfall. This estate was voted the best residential property development in Africa at the African Property Development Awards in 2009. So what we're about to show you guys is very special. But before we get into it though, massive shout out to Rob Jones from Chase Everett for allowing us to get into a stunning listing. I'll put his details down below and also the property details down below. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. So excited to share this listing with you guys. It's six bedrooms, 6.5 bathrooms, currently on the market for 69 million, just under 2.7 thousand square meters of floor area on an 8.5 thousand square meter earth. So very large property. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Right, so starting the tour here on this motor court, as you drive in here on this long motor court, which is hedged by this beautiful vegetation, to my left, you have this long, large uh, retaining wall, which goes all the way down into the, as you guys follow me here, if you look at the motor court, it goes down to the subterranean parking garage, which does, can house about 16 to 18 cars. So this, this home does have three levels. The, the, the first or below level is, as I've said, the subterranean parking garage. This level here, the ground floor level is the living, the living floor. And above that, the third, the third level is where the bedrooms are. But as you approach here, you see this stunning port crochet entrance. This is where the journey begins entering this stunning, beautiful home. And structurally, this home does have a combination of uh, co concrete elements and steel elements. You see them really here come out with these concrete columns and these steel columns um, forming this entrance here. And this is a stunning entrance because you be driving onto the motor court, your car parks here, and immediately you step out your car and you greet it with this amazing, uh, beautiful entrance. And as we walk and enter this beautiful home, each side of us, it's, it's hedged by this vegetation. To my left, you have this beautiful pool water feature. Gives you that little bit of natural feeling to this very natural entrance. But before we get into the home, to my right, you have this, this beautiful New York style library with the mezzanine uh, library. But we will go to that room there. And as you come here, you're greeted by this large pivot aluminum door with this floor to ceiling, double volume ceilings. This is very, the scale of this home, everything is to palatial scale, which is incredible. I think this, now if you, if I'm not wrong, I think this is the, the biggest door we've seen. Definitely. Our point Andreas, this is definitely the biggest one. It's very impressive. I think it just tells you what we're about to see in this home. So you walk inside the home and Throughout the home is very consistent, this herringbone shaped tiling and also wooden flooring throughout. So you come here, beautiful color, a pop of color of the, the seat, seating arrangement here. And I love the fact that this is open, 
glass here that you can see sort of the entertainment area and the front yard and it brings about amazing natural lighting onto this area here. So starting off this side, if you guys follow me here, to my left here, you're actually entering this almost self-contained unit where you have your own setup, own entrance. You don't have to go through the main house to enter this self-contained unit. But this is sort of the lounge area. You have a balcony which has access to the pool area. And if you follow me this side, you have this, the, the, floor, the floor finish changes in this room but here you have the bedroom which has a walk-in closet a very impressive thing about this home most of the rooms have walk-in closets we've never seen that in this channel before and this bathroom here very stunning as soon as you walk in you feel that oh, oh, that luxury feel opulence everywhere in terms of the surfaces the materials the, the glossiness all the finishes in this home have been imported and all the fittings also imported and sourced throughout the the world so as you see here very nude colors with the standalone bath here and this very beautiful arrangement of this chrome fixture here and this mirror finish um, installation. And you have this opening here, giving that, that a a natural lighting pouring into the space. And as you come here, water closet and this large shower head with the seamless outlet there. Very stunning um, bathroom here. And I love this, this differentiating tile finish here, circular or oval uh, shaped tiling arrangement. Um, around this perimeter of this bathtub. Very stunning, I think, in terms of the finishes of this home, everything or oh, no costs were spared. Looking at this bedroom, large window floor to ceiling, also bringing about natural lighting. I love the, the openings and the windows in this, in this home. Double, double glaze, so in terms of the noise, nothing really that you can hear from the inside. I love this backdrop of this sort of navy colored material with this, with this um, chrome lining um, around. So coming back to this side, this here is just sort of the, the kitchen arrangement and the, the, there's a wet bar there, kitchen arra arrangement, stove, everything you really need for a self-contained unit and entrance or exit onto the pool area. Coming back this side onto the entrance, which we just came from. And as we approach sort of the main living area, before we get into it, I'd like to point out this beautiful stunning tree here. I love the positioning of these olive trees. These olive trees have been sort of strategically placed throughout the whole home to reiterate that look and feel that you get with the Mediterranean theme. I love when nature's integrated with the, the concrete and building elements. And as we enter the main living area, I mean, the scale is just so evident from here, but here you have sort of a pause area, seating arrangement and large floor to ceiling, uh, double volume ceilings here. And I love these light suspended fixtures, which they, they're not all at the same height. So it plays a little bit of dimensions. I really love that. And throughout the house, in terms of the artwork, I'd like you guys to sort of notice the artwork um, around the house and seeing that it's such a, a concrete and steel structure, it's very rigid, but in, in, in terms of the artwork, it brings about a little bit of plainness, a little bit of light edge, which I really love. So coming here to my left, you sort of have a formal lounge area, fire, gas fire, fireplace, and behind it, this lovely black screen with different uh, sort of arrangements and shapes, very beautiful. And in terms of the furniture here, it's very stunning. I love the pops of color throughout. So coming towards you guys, and we shouldn't forget this circular seating place. Very um, first time that we've seen this, but it's the first time I've seen it actually make sort of sense in terms of where it's positioned. Perfect for this area. So coming towards this side and throughout the house, you'll see there's a lot of, this house is very much alive. There's a lot of moving parts. And this is something I really want to show you guys how impressive this screening is, how you can just close off that area. And this area is very is sectionalized and opening it and closing it uh, the way in which you want. So coming this side where we have another private lounge but before we get there 
this beautiful installation of um, storage for your wine bottles. I think this is a perfect display. As you come in, you can sort of showcase your bottle, your your wine collection, your sh your champagne collection. Very stunning. Continuing this side, I love the way this home flows seamlessly. Open plan living concept, but then you can close off the screens as you want. Here you have this private lounge area. There's sort of a, a combination of informal and formal lounges which overlap each other. I love that, so it causes a continuation of spaces and not everything just being sectioned off. And as you come here, this, this is beautiful. I, this is, in terms of scale, this is nothing like we've seen before. Massive island here with this white finish, which is contrasted with this more darker black finish to the countertop. Here it's more of a functional space where you can sit and have your breakfast, but here it's more of about um, more preparing your, your breakfast and putting them on the surfaces. Here you have this beautiful, uh, 2.4 meter Lacange oven, very stunning. I love the colors will be continuous throughout the, the whole home. The, these turquoise colors, these blues, I love the, the, the way in which they use them, the, the pops of colors in a seemingly very nude space. Coming towards you guys here, you have another countertop space. In terms of countertop space, you'll never complain. There's abundance of real estate on the countertops and just pausing here and pointing you guys to this beautiful art installation here. Again, with these turquoise and blue colors, it brings about a very playful nature to the space. Uh, and I love that it, it almost, in a way, it sections off that, that area, the private lounge area to the, the main kitchen or the, the two gourmet kitchens. Um, in the space and as we look above us you have built built-ins speaker built-ins throughout recess lighting and you have this LED lighting throughout the bulk the bulkheads which very, very much makes this place um, or increases that opulence and, and luxurious feel to the space coming this side here you have this beautiful very tranquil sort of atrium type of area, very zen. I love the lighting throughout. The, um, this place feels very natural and with this, this, this aggregate throughout and the vegetation and going that side, this, this just leads off to the backyard and sort of the other sustainability types of um, facilities that the home has. And in terms of sustainability and, and maybe sticking on talking about that subject for a minute, this home has a generator. It has uh, rainwater and stormwater uh, filtration system throughout the home. So it's very sustainable. And here you have a formal dining area, which has a seating for about quick mats here. 12. 12? Yeah. Uh, 12 and as you come this side I love these these pocket doors that you can open and close this very private lounge area and this as you enter here I really love the space I love the playful nature of of this wallpaper that's hedging or surrounding the TV and console unit here and the, the playful color uh, of the wallpaper continues on this coffee table and on the the couch throughout Large window here, continuing continue that theme of this large scale of everything, pours in nat natural lighting into the space. So coming back towards you guys, one thing I don't wanna forget to point out is this very beautiful geometric suspended lights fixture. So coming back this side is the sort of staff kitchen. But before we get there, storage units here for anything that you really want to um, store away. And because I know some of you guys are asking where do you actually cook in this house, it seems a little bit too clean, but then here you have your staff or actual preparation and catering kitchen. And as you come here, abundant amount of storage in here. The scale again here is very impressive. Here you get your well integrated Siemens appliance and throughout the whole home you have these, these very functional um, ports here, abundant amount of storage behind you guys and as you come here you're greeted by the Siemens appliance and AEG stove here. This is where you actually get dirty and this is where you actually get into the things of cooking. 
I know I'd be spending a lot of time here getting my chef in. Here you get a scullery where you can store your non-perishables behind you guys before we forget about it. Walk-in refrigerator and, co and cold room there. Very stunning. Here you have everything in terms of catering. If you're having a big event or you're having lots of people over, you can have everything prepared in this staff uh, or catering kitchen. Here you have abundant amount of storage, dishwashing facility there, and another sort of uh, scullery, pantry type of room, storage room there, and here you have uh, washing facilities, clothes washing, uh, laundry washing facilities, and that door there leads off to the staff quarters. Very, this place has everything which you'd really need for hosting large events. And again, with this blue, it's, it seems to be very continuous throughout the whole home, this, this pop of color of the turquoise and blues. So coming back to this side into where I just showed you guys the kitchen, the kitchen flows very seamlessly onto this open plan, enclosed entertainment area, where to my left, you have the soft furniture here, TV, and with the screening, which I did close in the beginning, you can open it up. But I think in terms of when you are entertaining people in this area, it's very adequate to have it as it is there. Here you have this bespoke custom made uh, bar or cocktail bar, it has this very stunning um, carved out bar area. You have open shelving there to place all your drinks and behind it and below there you have sort of refrigeration facilities there. Here you have a lounge area here and here you have sort of a dining dining more formal dining area where it has seating for 10 and here this is where most of the entertaining facilities are here you have a pizza oven very stunning i love this this um mosaic type of finish of this tiling with the goldens and the turquoise finish very stunning i love the play of color and here you have the siam um barbecue i mean I'd love to sort of entertain people on this or in this area here. And this sort of enclosed entertainment area flows out into the outdoor air or outdoor deck through these sliding doors, which on a day like this, I mean, Joburg is really um, showing off to there. The sun is out. It's a perfect day to sort of be entertaining people. And this home is very stunning today. And this whole entertainment area is very adequate today. But before we get into the pool area, one of my favorite parts about this home is just this, this, this moment right here where you have this outdoor shower, but in between this sort of wooden uh, decking here, you have this, this marble finish, which is very stunning. I love the, I love the contrast of materials from a, a very rough and textured material to a very smooth one. Very also functional in terms of if you are swimming in this outdoor swimming, which has an electrical cover, if you come out of this pool, you can just use the shower, which is very, is outside. And looking at sort of the, the external envelope of the building, this we have this concrete finish with these steel members, steel columns and steel sheeting throughout. And you do, and when we get to the top level, I will show you guys the see-through balustrades, which does help sort of have these endless views. From here, you can actually see behind you guys. I'm sure we will see you guys. You do see the Mall of Africa and the overall sort of waterfall city area. Coming through this side, you have a built, similar to the one that we did see inside, you have this very natural built-in custom uh, bar or, or you can use it as a bar area. And coming this side, you have this beautiful deck. This pool, this pool is very well decked throughout. These stairs go down onto the front yard. And in terms of scale, look at that front yard. I mean, as a kid, this is probably, you'd have the time of your life just running around and enjoying it. Out, out here, you have this furniture here, really just to enjoy this, this entertainment area. Very stunning. So coming back this side and to my right, we started with this, the self-contained unit. You can exit the self-contained unit through these sliding doors. Both, both of them can exit and come onto this entertainment area. So going back into the house where we started this living uh, floor, but before we get there, just to my left, you get this beautiful arrangement of a sunken seating place that has this mosaic finish to the flooring. 
but what a beautiful feature about this place you have this fire pit here where you can gather around have the fire pit on on like the colder days in Joburg very beautiful so coming back this side and going to this is where we started the tour going into this incredible powder room I don't think we've seen a powder room like this and the fact that this is a powder room and not one of like the main bathrooms of the house is very very impressive so this herringbone tiling continues into the, the powder room and as you enter here I mean before you even enter this sort of tinted glass it makes you think that you're about to enter into a very special room so to my left here you get as you enter you get the water closet here the stunning wallpaper of this turquoise ro uh, rose but I love what I do love about this room is these these moldings these concrete moldings that they do have on these walls it gives you that feel of wooden or timber panels throughout the walls and increases a little bit of the textures that you do have in this room or in this powder room and as you come this side I mean look at this this is incredible in terms of the materials, a combination of different styles. You have these, these golden cylindrical um, basins and these chrome tap fixtures. And behind it, you have this backlit onyx, which is very stunning. I've, I've, been, I've been excited and I've been waiting for the first house in which we see sort of an onyx type of um, finish. And we finally, we finally have a chair. So very stunning. And as you come this side again, you have a water closet chair in case you needed two in your powder room. But very stunning, very luxurious. I mean, you, you guys have seen for yourself. And coming towards this side, coming towards the, you guys to my left, you get a cloakroom to hang your coats. And as you come here, floor finish changes into this timber uh, herringbone shaped floor finish approaching here you have this new york styled study area which has a mezzanine library very stunning i, I, I really love this this interesting wallpaper that they have throughout this wall finish it's very unique we've never seen anything like it and even with the openings it's very large you even have a pivot large pivot door as large as the the one that we did see in the entry in the entry if not larger but it is large opening up into the entryway and you can go outside from this room here but beautiful arrangement of furniture here and here you do have your study desk area i mean studying in this room here is amazing up there you have this mezzanine floor with your library which you can set up it has a couple of books now but you do sort of take these stairs up there to um, access the, the library and from the library you overlook this area here which is incredible and above us one thing which is also consistent throughout the whole house are these exposed roof trusses which is very very interesting and beautiful one thing about this home also in terms of the design and architecture which it does incorporate this home is very eclectic in the way that it, it combines uh, a lot of different styles and elements and takes inf inspiration from a lot of different architectural styles which i really find interesting and very unique so coming back this side onto the the powder room and the cloak room which we just saw and going back to the main landing of the living area that was sort of a lot for one floor and it just points to the amount of the amount of elements on this one floor and the scale of this home next thing we're going to show you i'm going to show you guys i know you guys love seeing it i'm going to show you guys the subterranean uh parking garage let's go coming down onto the basement floor to my left you have a panic room and also you have a server facility there and then to my left one thing i then point out at the ground floor level you have a, a lift which does service all three levels and which is, is very sort of useful and functional at this level so as you come out your car get into the lift and takes you up into the bedroom floor coming out here before we get to the garage as you come this side, you have this, this great room, which is currently not staged as anything, but this would be ideally used as maybe a cinema or a man cave 
depending on what you really want to use it for. So coming this side, you have this large, well-polished um, subterranean parking garage. To my left, you almost have a uh, back of office uh, mechanics, sort of quarters there. But here it's very large in terms of the garage. You can probably fit throughout the whole home about 16 to 18 cars. And this is the motor court, which does come from the entryway all the way underground into this parking garage. And one, one feature that you do have in this parking garage is that in terms, because it's underground, you, they did install oxygen piping, which does allow fresh oxygen and fresh air to come into this space. So that was it for sort of the subterranean garage and the living floor. The next thing we're gonna look at is the top floor where we're gonna find the bedrooms. Let's go. So coming out the lift onto this top floor, this is the second floor where you do have the living or the bedroom areas. But before we get into the bedrooms, to my left, you have this large opening or window, which lets an abundant amount of uh, lighting into this uh, landing of the top floor. But one thing which is very stunning about the staircase, we didn't use the staircase today, but uh, very stunning details are these. In terms of the risers, you have this infill of these tiles which have different amounts, different shapes and different patterns, very stunning and, and above it you have LED lighting which is very stunning. And I'm sure at night it comes out even more. So coming towards this side, just off the landing, here you have the shutter door just to secure the bedroom areas to the living areas below. But as you come this side you have this stunning arrangement of this, this console with the zebra black and white checkered pattern. And as we, we actually wanna to start towards the end and then come towards that side or that wing of the house. But as you come this side before, before we look at the bedroom, just focusing on this pajama lounge above us, you, again, you have these exposed roof trusses giving you that farm style type of feel and has an open gable there bringing ample amount of uh, lighting into the space but if you need if this space did need more lighting you have this floor to ceiling sliding doors which do go off into a very large balcony space but here this pajama lounge i love the the surrounding wallpaper very stunning and the artworks here as well here you have this large uh, sort of wet bar area where you can sort of have a, a TV or movie night type of thing then you have sort of facilities here to cater for that and this is just the wallpaper where I was which I was speaking about so if you guys follow me this side looking at the first bedroom I love the fact that the floor finish floor finish changes from the tiling out there to a more timber warmer tone finish here very large bedroom, ample amount of space in this bedroom. It's, it's generous, if I may put it like that. And as you look above us, suspended ceiling with this LED lighting surrounding it or hedging it. You have the recessed lighting and as, as well in this room, you have surround sounds. Um, and um, one thing I didn't point out actually outside is that in terms of the irrigation system, it is controlled electronically and you can control it on your phone. Here you have a walk-in closet with LED lighting throughout, giving it that opulent and ambient feeling, open shelving. Um, I really love open shelving in terms of someone that really is into shoes and just displaying them in a way which is very, very um, aesthetic. Here you can have your, your TV console set up and out here you have a balcony which overlooks the entertainment area and the pool area. Walking into this bathroom, the bathrooms in this house are absolutely stunning. I mean, the finishes, the materials, the, the contrast between this more, this smoother surface onto this more darker, more textured material, and this play on color with the mosaic tiled with different types of patterns. It's very stunning. And here you have this large mirror, and then here to my right, standalone bath, with again, this chrome tab fixture 
and here we have this large window which lets in abs uh, a ton of natural lighting but not too much because of this uh, steel screening um, on the outside and the, on the external facade of this home. Coming towards this side, you have a large walk-in sh uh, shower, large shower head, neat outlet, and here you have this niche here, which does have LED lighting to emphasize this beautiful mosaic tiling. Coming towards you guys and back into the room, coming and looking at the next room, walking out this one. I really love these, these black, matte black um, door handles. So coming back this side here onto the next room. This room is currently not sort of staged as a bedroom, but this is very much a bedroom next to the one which we just saw. This one also has a large sliding doors which open and you can overlook the entertainment area and the amount of lighting, natural lighting that comes in this room is absolutely amazing. Also here you have a walk-in closet, very similar to the one that we just saw. And then this side here, also walk-in, large bathroom. This one overlooking the pool area as well. Standalone bath and I love this tile fit backsplash finish that you have here. And again, large shower head. That's just the, the, the slight differences of the two, the two bathrooms that the, the shape, the tile, the tile pattern is, is different in this bathroom. I love the nude colors that they used here. Very natural and calming. Coming back this side onto the, the pajama lounge and onto the next bedroom but before we get to the next bedroom just looking at this area here this area here can be used as a currently one gymming facility or equipment but it can very much be used as a gym um, room you're overlooking the back backyard here a lot you can open these windows up open and you have um, sort of a, a, a gush of air flowing in this room onto the passageway and you do have sort of your own shower and a water closet and basin here where you don't have to go back to your room to grab a shower. So coming back this side, you have your seating place here, very useful area here where you can get sort of work done. Here you have storage facilities, open shelving where you can be storing your linens and towels and all that type of stuff. But again, with the artworks in this, in this home, very stunning. And this large one here going up the stairs, um, I really love that play of color. So coming back this side or coming into this fourth room here, this is more of the kids room with this star, star shaped or star patterned uh, wallpaper throughout bed here. Also overlooking the, the pool area. You have this walk-in closet here. It's very impressive that most of all, all these rooms here have walk-in closets and very stunning bathrooms. You can see that no cost was spared and I love the fact in each of these bathrooms the, the tile finish is different. I love this uh, also, this wooden finish to this cabinetry space here, very stunning. So coming back towards you guys there, and throughout the home you do have this recessed, or in, or in each of the rooms you do have this recessed uh, air conditioning, um, which I, I really love. I don't really like it when you have that big uh, AC unit. Um, so this is very uh, beautiful. Coming here, you have this black railing throughout this passage going onto the main bedroom. But before we get there, these are the sort of light suspended fixtures that I was pointing out in the beginning. Very beautiful and a play of depth and the, the color, the turquoise color, introducing that the continuation of that color scheme. Here, this bridge here, from this bridge, you can see the beautiful entryway, which we just use. And you can also actually just see the scale of this pivot door and this uh, aluminum arrangement here. And it does bring sort of a natural lighting to the space. And from here, you get a glimpse of the entertainment area, the pool area from here. Approaching and entering this master suite, and as you can see, this is incredible. Uh, I mean, the scale here, uh, but before we get in there, before I get carried away, we just have to point out here that you have this wet bar area with this beautiful countertop marble finish. You can close off this, this area with the screening, but in terms of this area, very useful. You actually don't need to go downstairs. Here you have storage facilities, but here you do have a bar fridge. 
so you don't have to go downstairs to grab anything really to, to sort of sip on. So coming here, you have two balconies in this master suite. You have this first one here, which is overlooking the entertainment area. And from here, I think you, have, you do have a beautiful view from to the Mall of Africa, so the commercial parts of Waterfall and also Waterfall um, Country Estate, which I will link up there. We did do a video recently on that estate. So coming this side, you do have sort of a lounge area here. Very, I love the color scheme that was used there. And also these small little artworks throughout the wall. And as you look up, similar to the other rooms, you have the suspended ceiling with the bulkhead and LED lighting throughout. The, 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 the ambience of this room is amazing. And as you come here, the ceiling is higher. You have more of a double volume ceiling here with these exposed roof trusses and throughout the head, the, 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 the sort of the perimeter of the, the suspended ceiling, you do have recessed lighting and the surround sounds. And from here, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, the view from this balcony, it's quite similar to that one, but I think it's more open because you don't have this tree blocking the view, but you do have the overall view of waterfall. And this area in terms of waterfall for the last couple of years has been an area of interest for a lot of people moving because you do have sort of amazing facilities and amazing amenities. And there's a lot of excitement about this area with a lot of different estates and a lot of different um, offices moving towards this area so it's an area which is attracting a lot of people so coming towards this side i love this backdrop the screening of this bed you have this led lighting emphasizing the whole vertical shape of this back screen but as you guys join me here behind and introducing you guys to this incredible bathroom i mean this looks like something out of a I don't even know how to explain it. There's not many, there's not many superlatives I could use to describe this bathroom. Very incredible. But as I, I attempt to explain it, um, as you come here, you have the water closet there. Here, I, lo I love this continuation of this molding, this wall moldings that they did use in the powder room. Behind you guys and to my left, you get these two dual sinks and floating vanity with this large mirror behind it and this lovely backsplash. I love the backsplashes that they use throughout the home. And as you come here, almost on a elevated stage, you have this standalone Victorian Albert white tub, which has these, these chrome uh, fixtures here used to service this bathtub. But as you come here, you have this large walk-in shower with this opening overlooking the driveway and the motor court. And here to my, in front of me and to your guys' right, you have this niche that you can put all your shower accessories. But for me, if you look up, you have the skylight introducing so much natural lighting into this uh, shower. Very stunning, I really love this. The shower and below us, it's a continuation of that backsplash that you did have above the, the water, the, the, the basin there. Neat outlets, which you would expect for a property at this level. But as if you guys aren't <laughs> sort of impressed yet, as you come here, which you can close off the space, but as you come here, well, before we go into there, there's another walk-in closet in case the other one is in use. There's these two. So very impressive. So as you come in here, you have a insanely large walk-in closet where you have abundant amount of storage throughout this whole sort of perimeter of this walk-in closet. You have open shelving, you have drawers here, and here you have this console, the storage console, where you can be storing some sort of your jewelry and watches, uh, very flexible. Coming this side, I think this is the main sort of something that you guys will find very interesting, this, this uh, showcase of this wedding dress. Um, I, I find it very stunning and very sort of in, it's, it's not out of place in this walk-in closet, which says a lot about the, the, the luxurious feel of this walk-in closet. But behind you guys and above, above the, the, the open shelving, you do have sort of a, an opening slit, which brings natural lighting to the space. I think without that, this space would feel a little bit more dark. So abundant amount of storage, as you guys can see, 
um, here you can be storing your shoes and the, throughout this, this, this um, walk-in closet the LED lighting does help with the ambience and the luxurious feel of this room and I mustn't forget to point out this large mirror that after you maybe put on your dress you put on your suit and you're ready to attack the world the world shoulders back chest up you can look at yourself in the mirror and conquer the world so coming back this side onto the main bedroom in terms of this whole home I mean it was very impressive nothing really that we've seen to this scale um, if you have seen something on this channel that you can compare to this please comment down below and let us know um, which one you think comes close to this but as always if you guys did make it this far thank you so much for watching the channel keep on su supporting we really appreciate that we recently i think today is the 28th 28th, 28th of August and we recently reached 30,000 subscribers. We only have you guys to thank for that. It's been, it's been very, uh, an enjoyable journey. Myself and Nero were are very um, grateful for the place that we are and the, we're very grateful for the homes that we keep on showcasing with you guys and this this is only the start so thank you so much for the amount of support that you guys do provide us with comment down below which areas you guys would like to see next we've been seeing all you guys comments so we will try to get access to those properties before we end this to a massive shout out to the chase everett people for giving us this exclusive look at this stunning home uh, specifically rob jones for giving us this access to his listing i'll put his details down below in the description also the property details down below so you can reach out to him directly At, from us at list prop in to you guys see you soon and have a lovely rest of the day <laughs>